So what's going on here is I'm trying to push him and normally I can just manhandle these trailers and the truck kept dying. And uh, so you'll see in a minute, uh, come to find out, the truck brakes never got released on the, on the truck when he put in gear. So I am pushing him in this storm lightning popping everywhere and the truck brakes are on i realize it here in a little bit and i'll come back on whenever i whenever i notice it we're gonna be lucky if we get this truck out of here like yard don't try to shift and get in no higher gear because if you try to shift and you stop you're you're gonna be there look at all the water lightning like crazy and this is a uh, 7 30 in the morning still this dark like this right here with the, the overcast rain about this dirt that we're on right now it's got a it's kind of a mix of uh, prairie type dirt the people who live in the south is what we call it gumbo it's not just full-blown gumbo but it's uh it's where it kind of starts mixing here and it is uh it's worse than the red clay as far as being slick it's like it's like ice. Kevin's going to end up having to, uh, Kevin's on the bulldozer right there. Kevin's going to end up having to kind of follow him all the way out. Derek and I'll get Derek back in there. 
so there's the truck. If he can make it down this stretch right here that he's on, you start getting into the road gets a little bit better on up here about 250 more yards, I guess. I texted Derek and told him to come on in the one of the 5500s, and I would take him back in to the to get the other truck out. The uh, if Kevin had to come out in the bulldozer to keep Kevin around the track all the way back in. Right about here is where I started smelling brakes. I started smelling brakes pretty bad all the way up this stretch, and I was thinking, what the heck, man? I thought thought maybe he still had his uh trailer brakes locked because that's that's easy to do that and we get on up here in a little bit and Derek catches up with me and I actually stop I don't have a CB in my truck I stop and I jump out and I run back to Derek and I tell him to, to holler on the radio and tell him to unlock his trailer brakes I figured his trailer brakes were locked but it wasn't his trailer brakes it was actually the tractor brakes and it's a miracle that uh that we didn't tear anything up because a lot of times it'll twist the drive shaft out of them or you join out of them or something. The first one, he shouldn't really have any trouble with. The next one, he might because it's kind of coming up a hill. This is where I jump out and run back there to Derek. If you were listening right before this, you could hear me roll down the window in my truck because I, I mean, it was strong. I was trying to make sure, you know, because I, I mean, nothing else had been out. And uh, so I knew someone was dragging somewhere on it. So, uh, and then I come running back to the truck. I was soaked, man, time, time all this ended up getting done. I was, I done gotten pretty wet. So that's why he couldn't take off a while ago. He's rolling now. Still smell them though, they done heated up, so what's done happen? Get up here and uh, we're going. I'm gonna check them real quick. We'll get up here on the side of the road. 